ladies and gentlemen, my name is James Wallace, and today I'm going to be talking about my favourite characters from books, movies, and games, and how these things have changed over the course of my life. To begin with, I'm going to be talking about when I was like a kid. Uh, so these, the characters I liked back then were the stereotypical characters like Bart Simpson, Fry from Futurama, uh, Donkey from Shrek. The thing about these characters is although they display brief glimpses of some kind of change, they are ultimately the same character throughout their appearances. Uh, for example, Bart Simpson. In any of the episodes where he gets a girlfriend, he comes to some realization that he needs to be nicer to people and change his ways. By the next episode, he's not the focus anymore, and he's back to being really rude, selfish, and cruel. The next period of my life, I'm saying it was about 10 to 16, I liked characters like Harry Potter, Lucina from Fire Emblem. I challenge my fate! Any of the Persona characters. To me from Nier Automata. And I think most importantly, Phoenix Wright. The thing about these characters is that they have to do something either visually stunning or they have to have something that's easy to copy. They generate an amazing sense of power really quickly, but they do it from outside of themselves. It's usually things like the music, the way this dialogue is spoken. In Phoenix Wright, the music shifts at the key points, and the cry of objection over the top of the game just comes together to create a character where his dialogue and what he actually does isn't as important as how he does it. Finally, as a 20-year-old guy now, uh, I've changed a fair bit, I think. My favourite characters are the ones that begin to look as stereotypes, but ultimately become their own. I'm talking people like Komane Sachi and Tosaka Rin. At first glance, these characters seem like just another Bart Simpson. Uh, Rin seems like she's just a girl who is mean and doesn't really care about anyone else. Uh, and she acts like this at the start. Sachi does whatever anyone asks, literally anything. And this comes across as strange, but it's just her character. The thing about these characters is that they do exhibit great change. For example, Rin is conflicted between what she has uh, been brought up to believe and do and what she actually thinks for herself. Constantly, throughout Fate Say Night, she is torn between these two ideals and ultimately becomes herself later on. Coming to Sachi, even when she's not the main character in the story, you begin to wonder what's up with her. Why does she do what everyone says? And it's not as much her changing as the audience's perception of her changing. These characters are amazingly complex, and I hope we can see more of them in the future. It's really hard to talk about them in such a short video, but uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it.